Good morning, everybody. My name is Pastor Tyg, and I want to share some brief thoughts with you from Paul as he writes to the, uh, the church in Corinth. Now, Corinth is an interesting city in Greece. It's a very, very important city to that country. It had over 250 free people living there and over 400,000 slaves. So 650,000 people was a huge city. Today, it would be the 26th largest city in the United States, about the size of Portland, Oregon. So a substantial city. Uh, now, this city was so important because it had an incredible amount of commerce. Uh, two main harbors, lots of roads connecting to all parts of the Mediterranean. Super important. Uh, it had all kinds of religion going on at the same time. With over 12 temples, uh, a thousand temple prostitutes, there was a lot of religion, but it was not very moral as far as religion goes. Uh, and so there was a lot of sexual immorality. In fact, the Greek had this verb called to Corinthianize, uh, which meant that if you were Corinthianizing, you were being highly sexually moral. And so the city and the church within it was very, very interesting. Paul saw an enormous amount of potential in the church in Corinth, but he also saw the church facing a lot of difficulties. It had difficulties, including some of which were difficulties with division, immorality, sexual immorality, uh, and a lack of attention to those who lived in poverty. So if you think about it, it's not very different from the church today. Now, our text today centers towards the end of this letter, and it sounds like solid last advice, final words that Paul has for the church in Corinth. 1 Corinthians 16, verse 13 says this, Be on your guard. Stand firm in the faith. Be men of courage. Be strong. And then I love verse 14 also. Verse 14 says, Do everything in love. I wonder if we need to hear that today. Maybe this is a good moment to take stock, take an inventory on how we're doing, where our faith is today. Are we finding our faith to be under attack? Is there a division that's causing you stress? Are you struggling with sexual immorality? Or have you turned a deaf ear to those who are in need? Now, I don't ask these questions today to, to beat you up or make you feel guilty, but maybe just take stock. And if there is something that we need to do better, to confess that to God, ask for his strength. Because here's the cool thing, the strength to do all these things comes from Jesus Christ. Listen to this, maybe in a different way. Let Jesus be your guard. He is standing firm, building your faith. Take on the courage of Christ. He is giving you strength today. He does everything for you in love. Be encouraged by these words today. Be blessed.